हेलो डियर स्टेडम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम आई एम मिस्टर एम एम कुतवर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रोनॉमिक कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर मेरा सगाव टुडे वी डिस्कस द आवर कोर्स एग्रो टू थ्री फोर इन दैट वी डिस्कस टुडे सेकंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्रॉप इट इज द जूट इट जूट इट इज द सेकंड इम्पॉर्टेंट फाइबर क्रॉप so it's botanically known as the capsularis and olitoris these two species corocorus capsularis and corocorus olitoris these are the two different important cultivated species of jute then its family its tilaceae family and the origin place is indo brahma then its economic important jute it is the important fiber crop next to cotton it is one of the major foreign exchange earner the fiber is used extensively in manufacturing of gunny bags and other packaging materials for storage and tran- transporting grains pulses spices cement sugar cotton fertilizer etc all over the world these are the utility major utility of this jute crop then jute is also used in the making ropes carpet rugs twings so and jute useful for the fuel and other making gunpowder and charcoal also so these are the some important industrial use also these crops then it is for the raw material for the paper industries for making a paper so this important utility of this jute crop then we discuss about the area and distribution of jute cultivation in that jute is a extensively grown in india bangladesh china pakistan myanmar nepal thailand brazil and vietnam also these are the major countries some of the asian countries and all over the world then the brazil and vietnam also american countries also grow on the jute crop in india it is the extensively cultivated in eastern regions like west bengal bihar orissa assam tripura meghalaya and uttar pradesh these are the major jute growing states in our india india is a larger producer and consume of raw jute so india is a west in india, india west bengal stand first in area and production the productivity it is the higher in the west bengal 50% raw jute its production in the india in all only the west bengal it is the major state for the more than the 50% of the production of jute in our west bengal then area under the jute cultivation we are is near about 8 lakh hectare and production is about 94 lakh bales one bales having near about 180 kg its weight cotton bale it is the its weight is 170 170 kg and jute bale is 180 kg weight so the larger number of maximum production we have to obtain from the jute production then we discuss important varieties selective varieties of the jute crops capsularis type we called as a white jute and corocorus olitoris the tosa jute these are the two cultivated species of jute crops and then among that the different varieties selected varieties are developed in that capsularis 
व्हाईट जोड इन दॅट बलदेव पद्मा जयदेव सबल सोना अँड सोनाले दीज आर द फायव सिलेक्टेड व्हरायटीज ऑफ ज्यूट क्रॉप देन वर्करस ऑलिटोरियस टोसा ज्यूट दिस ज्यूट टोसा ज्यूस हॅविंग डिफरंट व्हरायटीज इन दॅट बैसाखी टोसा चैताली टोसा बासुदेव नवीन महादेव अँड जे जे फोर्टी दीज आर द सम ऑफ द सिलेक्टेड व्हरायटीज ऑफ द टोसा ज्यूट then we discuss about the climatic and soil requirement of the jute crop jute thrives best under warm and humid climate with temperature range from 24 to 20, 37 degrees celsius this is the warmer climate required for that warm and humid climate it is the beneficial for its growth and development of the jute crops then jute is <coughs> jute can be grown under the highest humid region ranges from 55 to 90% this jute crops it is the maximum production that generally humid region the maximum rainfall area highest rainfall intensity area this is the maximum production and its requirement of soil for the jute crops jute crops clay to sandy loam type of the soil it is the best for the jute cultivation that ph range of this soil we call as the soil reaction it is the normal ph range of the soil it's very beneficial for the nutrient uptake for the jute crop means 7.5 and near about that type of the soil ph range it is the very beneficial then we discuss about the cropping systems different cropping systems we have to adopt under the cultivation of the jute cultivation in that jute rice wheat this is the prominent cropping system useful uh, used in the west bengal and other andu gangeting plains where these jute crops are cultivated then second one is the one of the important jute rice potato jute rice barley jute rice mustard jute rice chickpea these are the some of the selected cropping system which are the adopted in that crops then we discuss about the field preparation for the jute crops jute crop required cloud free field with fine tilled to brought this field this condition by the one deep plowing followed by 5 to 6 cross wise harrowing is necessary fine seed bed should be required for the jute cultivation then at the time of the sowing near about 21 to 45 percent of the soil moisture is required for better growth and development of the jute seedlings then seed and sowing in that seed and sowing we different aspects we have to discuss here the seed treatment first important part is the seed treatment seed are treated with the captain or sericon at the rate 5 g per kg seed so control the seed board and soil borne diseases or some of the attack to control the different pest then sowing time capsular is type means white jute we cultivated in the april and march and also the olitori type of the jute cultivated or sowing the march and april this is the summer, summer period the highest humidity there present and so it is the beneficial for that crop then third part is the seed rate what is the requirement of the seed rate for the per hectare the white jute it is the 6 to 8 kg seed required for the 1 hectare cultivation but in case dosa jute 4 to 5 kg only this per hectare requirement so dosa jute seeds 
are smaller in size so due to that the taste weight low and quantity of seed rate right, it is the lower but white jute it is the seed taste weight is the higher so due to that the near about 6 to 8 kg near about 2 to 3 kg maximum um, maximum yield uh, maximum seed required for the white jute as compared to dosa jute then we discuss about the spacing spacing is required for the 20 to 30 centimeter between two rows and 5 to 7 centimeter between two plants this spacing should be required for the better growth and development of, of the jute plant then sowing method generally drilling and line sowing are useful for the jute crop sowing then sowing depth not more than 2 to 3 centimeter is light shallow depth sowing should be essential for the better germination and its development so shallow depth only 2 to 3 centimeter depth sowing place the seeds in that shallow depth then we discuss about the manures and fertilizers for jute crops 5 to 8 tons of FOM or compost should be incorporated into the soil at least one month before sowing. So land preparation at the time of the land preparation and last harrowing we can apply this FOM and we will mix into the soil and it will be one month before the sowing because of the some FOM some fungus or other um, materials or uh, some of the pest uh, stages can be observed in that uh, particularly FIM or compost so they will be killed in that soil of the when this will be exposed into the field and so that's why no harmful effect any of that compost and other uh, material we can incorporate into the soil so this is the one of the care should be taken at the time of the application of the FIM or compost then fertilizer requirement <coughs> you should apply 60 kg of nitrogen 40 kg of the phosphorus and 60 kg of potash is a recommended fertilizer dose for the jute crop for the one hectare then we discuss about the water management and weed control if rainfall is well distributed throughout the season then there is a no irrigation requirement in that generally these crops are cultivated in the rainy season and they are well distributed rainfall is we have to observe but no any irrigation requirement but in case some of the weed control the first weeding at two to three weeks after the sowing second weeding five to six weeks after the sowing so weeding it is the necessary first six weeks are very important for the weed crop competition period critical period so due to the this weed infestation the production or quality of the fibers or quality of the jute it is the lower down so we have to control this weed weed feed um, plot should be required at least 45 to 60 days so we can use also the flocularin or basalin type of the selective type of the um, herbicides for the jute crops at the rate 1 kg active ingredient per hectare in with 1000 liter of water for the weed control then we discuss about the harvesting and rating harvesting it is the most important stage for the jute cultivation jute crops may be harvested for the fiber purpose at any time before flowering between 120 to 150 days after the sowing so mainly just fiber purpose we can production of this jute or 
some other part it is the seed purpose and fiber purpose when we choose this production for the fiber purpose we can earlier harvest this crop and at least one for uh, 120 to 150 days after the its maturity before the flowering stage or flowering stage it is the must for the harvesting the ideal ideal stage for the harvesting when the plants are the small pods stage but small spot stages it is the <coughs> comes in 135 to 140 days after the sowing and this is the proper or ideal stage for the harvesting of the jute crop then cutting the plants close to the ground level and with sharp sickle so at ground level with cutting the stems and they will be very important and then harvested plants are tied into separate bundle and 18 to 20 cm diameter type of bundles we can this uh, harvested plants form the bundles and left stand in the field for the 2 to 3 days for the shading of the leaves so it is the necessary for the drying some time and this shade the leaves into the soil or into that uh, field particular field so it is the shade the leaves we can add the uh, organic matter or compost for that particular field so this is the very essential and necessary for that um, practice then we discuss about the rating rating it is the one of the important process which are the fiber in the bark get loosed and separate from the woody stalk so rating it is the separation of the fibers from the this stalk or bark and this break this bark separate the bark from this um, in that rating process rating process is done in a shallow channel with the shallow running water for tanks with the depth of about 2 to 3 meters this standing water not a proper but a um, flow stream or flow channel it is required for the rating this jute bundles and this uh, jute bundles are deep into the that particular tank for the near about 2 to 3 meters deep tank it is the uh, essential for the rating of jute and dipping this uh, jute bundles into the that particular tank then the harvested jute bundles should be kept stand in the 30 to 60 cm deep water for the 3 to 4 days before the entire bundles is separated so this deep water deep dipping it is the essential for the separating this bark from this tag and easy to separate this fiber or threads from the that stalk so rating is the um, rating is based on done at the 34 degree celsius temperature so it is the essential temperature or uh, easy to for the rating uh, processes it is a very essential part of the rating processes and rating it is the one of the important practice for the in jute crops over rating is result weak uh, weak fiber so necessary to optimum period or optimum cell um, type optimum um, specification should be necessary for the rating then which floating the end of the uh, rating processes we can press this bark with the thumb and finger and uh, rate the consider the completed this bark it will be loosed down and then easy to separate this fiber then we will consider this rating it is a uh, perfect and this separate this um, fibers from this bark and it will be dry in the sun drying then we will after the process so these are all about the uh, rating processes in the jute crops so these are the all about the jute crops and its production technology and some of the process of the rating we, have, uh, we today discuss here thank you